And so I have Julie Danilek with us. We are going to go into the kitchen and try some of your harvest soup. Is oh, that delicious. right? Yeah. yeah. Can we uh, can we go give okay, it a shot? Okay, let's go. Excellent. Let's definitely. Thank you so much okay, for sharing with super. me. Today we're going to be making a one pot meal because it's fantastic to throw on first thing in the morning and when you come home from work, it's ready to go. You can cook in large capacity, so that means cooking once on Sunday and having it all week long for lunch. Know that these ingredients combine really quickly and easily and we're going to show you a delicious harvest soup today. So our first ingredient today is our beans. That's our source of protein. It's nice to take a break from meat and have a vegetarian protein and it's really inexpensive. Know that uh, it's a wonderful idea to soak your beans ahead of time if there's time because it, it really helps with the digestibility of the beans. It also helps wake up the enzymes. So we're just soaking with two cups of water and our cup of beans and know that overnight these are going to expand till they're all ready to go here. Um, these are cranberry beans but you can use any type of bean. And we're going to add that there. That's one cup of beans. And one cup of French lentils. The reason why I'm a big fan of French lentils is because they actually um, cook down to a creamy consistency. So it's almost like a, an added richness, like you've added flour to your soup without the flour. And we can add our, our wonderful mushrooms. That's two cups of mushrooms and four onions. You might be shocked at how big this, uh, this pot is getting, but that's because I want to be able to cook it for everyone. Next we're going to add the local organic tomatoes. Now I've done my own canning job, which is fantastic for money saving, but it's completely fine to use canned. We're using a liter and a half of tomatoes for this big job. All right. Add a little bit of celery. That embarks a little natural sodium and potassium. Excellent for the potassium is fantastic for your heart. And now I think it's important to give a little demo on how to cut up the squash. Because some people who haven't worked a lot around big heavy produce might be a little intimidated by this organic creature. But it is so easy just cutting this two pieces off. Know that this is great just to cut in half, coat with a little bit of maple syrup and pop it in the oven so that piece is taken care of. So for today we're going to use just this part which is so easy. All you're doing is quickly peeling it. Once you peel it, you make sure to cube it up in nice bite-sized chunks. And this is embarking a tremendous amount of sweetness to the food because squash is one of the sweetest of all the veggies. You want sweet, sour, savory and salty in a meal to satisfy your cravings. That's often why people end up ricocheting into huge desserts because often their meal doesn't have all their flavors combined. So when making a beautiful harvest soup, we're taking care of that. There's nothing better than some purple cabbage in a harvest soup. It embarks indol 3 carbonyl a fantastic phytonutrient for preventing cancer. Know that we're going to try out this wonderful, fun, inexpensive instrument called a mandolin. So you just hold a good chunk of the cabbage carefully away from the blade and stroke down quickly. And you'd be surprised in seconds. Look how fast and easy it does this job. Fantastic for coleslaw. And they're available at pretty much any health food store for under $20. So we're adding about a cup of our cabbage. There we go. Now we're left to season our soup using organic chopped ginger, two tablespoons. Now you can add either basil soaked in olive oil or I love using organic pesto because it's going to add the most flavor of all. And last we're going to be adding uh, some stock and if you're stuck for stock, then feel free to use some organic bullion cubes. These are really important because they're getting away from monosodium glutamate, which a lot of people are having allergies to nowadays. For those on a sodium reduced diet, this is not an essential ingredient, but Celtic sea salt does have 65 trace minerals that are wonderfully healthy for you. And we're going to add a good teaspoon of salt because it's a very large soup but know that there's lots of flavor in there already if, if you are on a sodium reduced diet. 
If you haven't purchased a stock pot, not to worry. This is a wonderful recipe on the stove. Just peek in on it every half hour or so to ensure that it doesn't burn. And you need about two hours to allow all the flavors to melt. Slow cookers cook at low temperatures, so you need to cook about four to eight hours, simmering gently, and right before you want to serve it, pop in your green beans at the very end, and that embarks a wonderful fresh flavor and keeps them nice and green. This harvest soup is a great thing to serve alongside your appetizer as the flax crackers make a great crouton in your soup.